Um, so I got another roster review here for you. Um, I haven't looked at this one yet. I, I, I've been finding I enjoy going into them a little bit blind. It, it makes the things I'm saying more genuine. So, you know, the first one or two, I kind of went in just with a, a hint of what something looked like. Um, but I've been trying to get a first look with everybody else. Um, I obviously had to parse this from Discord. Um, but we'll pull it up in a second. Let's see. Good morning from Germany. That's why my response time was long. He had friended me like 12 hours ago. Uh, it'd be nice to get a roster review. Don't feel obligated because of the tip. You deserve it anyway. Uh, referring to my, my beer tip um, jar on, on Reddit. Uh, it was one of very few people. Not that tips me. I, I do get tips every once in a while. But before I even do the review. So it, 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 it's appreciated. It kind of shows me that this person respects my time, not that other people don't. I understand that we're all in different situations. Um, let's see, my fleet chart is full of Leviathans, but since I have one and we have an infographic, definitely get in with your fleet chart, so awesome. He's able to get to one comfortably. At the moment, I'm farming JMK, but I have side projects like Treya, Scion, Nihilus, Fennec. Um, I think Fennec's needed for JMK. I don't remember. I know she's needed for somebody. Maybe it's Jabba. I don't I don't remember. Uh, they are all at G12, and it would be nice to have them at Relics. And there are also the Inquisitors, all at seven stars and at purple gear level that requires Kairos. Okay. I think I should get them to Relic soon. TB Scythe, which I unlocked two or three months. Uh, and Bane is also on my wish list. I plan on getting him on the fourth conquest. All right, awesome since this is his first conquest. Maybe too many things, and that's why I contacted you. I need a better focus and an idea in which direction it should go. Assault battle, CT1, 5 of 7, CT2, 5 of 7, CT3, 5 of 7. Okay, so it looks like this guy, because it says, damn Night Sisters and Inquisitors, it looks like he's flush out on assault battles, which is awesome. I would say I'm a semi-competitive player. I want to play well and efficiently, but not at all cost. For example, if I miss something, I get the red crate. And if I don't get the red crate in Conquest, it's fine. I already bought you two beers, blah, blah, blah. Greetings from Germany. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, pull this up. He is also a .gg supporter. I've been seeing this a lot more lately, which is kind of cool um, because it is an amazing, amazing, amazing website. Galactic Power, 9.7 million. Um, I don't even need to check his fleet shard, so that'll save me some time. Let me just take a look. One, two, three, four, five, five GL. Um, he's got my favorite, C. And I don't know if I like C because um, he's actually that good or it's just that contrary in me that says, uh, hey, something that everyone else thinks is bad, so he must be good. But he's definitely done some great stuff for my roster. Um, so five GLs we're missing. JMK, we're missing Jabba, and we're missing Leia, who I spelled incorrectly. Um, Inquisitors. Okay, so they're all at five star, which is nice. Actually, let me just take a look at this guild. The guild's probably pretty far out in Riva. I need to start remembering to say Third Sister, because I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, and then let's see, Night Sisters, okay, so Night Sisters, um, if we had Talia at G12, you could definitely do this at CT1, but, you know, when we talk about efficiency, but not at all costs, it is something that's very time intensive, unless you get lucky, and I, I agree, my time is more valuable than anything else. Um, I actually just want to take a look at Phoenix, because I did one the other night, and I completely forgot about these guys. Um, so I did a roster review last night for somebody, and I was really confused how they were getting CT1 in the um, the Night Sisters assault battle, and and it was because of Captain Rex. Um, so that might be a thought to consider, since you're gonna have to get him eventually once you get him up to seven stars. I don't know the relics required for it. I know it's not terribly, terribly, terribly hard. Um, I think CT2 is even completable with him, but on a, a little bit more of a slam your head against the wall kind of way. Um, let's see what we got here. So we're missing JMK. 
800, okay. We're missing Jabba, 1500. And we're missing Leia, 1400. We have Leviathan, we have Profundity, we have Executor. This dude is up on his fleets. He says he's farming JMK right now, but he has all these side projects. I just want to take a look here. At, let me look back at this real quick. 800, I know. 1,500. Oh, man, so many fucking stun guns. Not that far away. It's basically all relicking with those G12s at this point. So that's so much quicker. Let's look at this collection. Tan. Okay, that's a that's a relic farm or a cantina farm. We got Bosch who's close. Okay, Skiff who's not as close. Let's just see where we are with Drogan. Drogan. Uh, I already know where Captain is. Nessa. Um, we'll just see. Nellis. Scion. Treya. Okay, so he's got Treya up. Um, and who am I missing? Scout. Scout Trooper is not that far up. Let's see what we got. My fleet chart is full of Leviathans. They're all G12. Then there are also the Inquisitors, all seven stars in purple gear, level that requires Cairo Techs. All right, so we got a Kyber 3 player. Um, he's hitting one every day, which means, and I don't have my phone with me, but every day we're looking at a crystal income just from fleets. 400, well, not every day, based on when he can do it, but let's assume somewhere around there, 400 times 10, 4,000 times three, so about 12,000 crystals from fleet, maybe 10,000. Um, Kyber three, so we're looking at probably eight to 1,000 um, crystals per day for this player. Um, so about 30,000 crystals a month. He's got a decent income. He does not have to spend in order to do well. I don't know if he spends, but uh, you know, being a contributor on .gg and, and sending me money ahead of time, it's indicative that he's not afraid to spend. He might not want to on this game in particular, but he's not. It's not something that he's he's necessarily against. Um, I would definitely finish JMK. He's not my favorite GL when we talk about overall ROI on an account. Um, he's really strong in in GAC. He's really strong on those stupid challenges um, that come out. Uh, on Mondays and Fridays, so Mondays and Fridays, um, he's really strong in conquest. You know, so he's a great character. But when you're at 10 million GP, there's a lot of things that your account can do already, and you don't necessarily need him. Um, I honestly, I find that I don't use him really at all anymore in conquest, except to just like get past a node that I'm done with mentally. But with that said, we're just so close comparative um, that JMK is is definitely the first slot up. From there, I would go. <sighs> Here's the thing. When I talk to people online, and I, and I say this, I think, in every video, I don't have all of the information. I only have what is avail to, available to me in that moment. Um, and what often happens is I send these videos to somebody, they watch the whole thing, they laugh at some of the funny things that I say. Uh, I politely send them a laughing emoji back, which I guess I can't do this time because it'll be called out. Um, and I'm going off of a lot of assumptions and, and they'll send me back information and then I'll send them back information. And we'll kind of go back and forth. So, you know, these review videos, they're like 20 minutes long. Um, but there's another 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, two hours of going back and forth to find the exact right fit. This is really just the blueprint. So there's two schools of thought, I think, here. Um, number one, Inquisitors are amazing once you get Third Sister. Uh, but it looks like from a guild standpoint, you know, we're, we're pretty far from her. I just wanna see. I'm assuming I'm correct, but we'll just we'll take a gander. It's not like it's a hard mission. Uh, 
you just hit G and it'll come up, but 17. So, I mean, yeah, but not all of them are even relic yet. So many of them are not even relic. Oh, well, no, I'm looking at the wrong part. Um, so 17, 16, 15, 14 of them are, are relic and where they need to be. We're probably pretty far from third sister, but you know, being a part of the guild, if your guild is pushing for it, I'd, I'd go for inquisitors first. Um, if your guild is not pushing for it, I would go for Jabba first. Um, now, based on where, and this is gonna go with both paths, paths, but based on where your JMK is, or where your inquisitors are, and what you decide to do, if you're deciding to go JMK right into Jabba. Um, I would start Skiff and Bosch right now, uh, just doing your five battles a day. And if you do that right now, you're not gonna have a problem. You will get them where they need to be before you're done with Jabba. You won't have to spend a single crystal on refreshing. Um, you could even start uh, BK with his Cantina farm. What I actually did is, until I needed the farm, I would do my three refreshes on Cantina uh, for relic material, and then my midday, when I got my midday refresh, I would do whatever those battles amounted to on the node. That way, I wasn't um, completely halting my relicking, and I was slowly building those shards as well. Uh, effectively, it'll end up to be about exactly the same, but psychologically for me, that, that, that helped. Okay, so if you're going for Jabba right away, um, start those two farms now as slow farms, those three farms if you want to. If your guild is more pushing for Inquisitors based on how many shards they're getting each month, you know, if you're topping off and you're doing like your 12 to 15 or like 10 to 15 based on what you have, um, you know, you might want to consider taking one for the team uh, do your Inquisitors, and when you start doing your Inquisitors, that's when you'll start those farms for your Jabba guys, all right, for your three. Uh, what I will say is that you will be able to do CT1 of the Inquisitors um, Assault Battle before you even have any relics around the G11, G12 standpoint. It really isn't that tough as long as you burn that event special. Um, I would try to avoid relicking second sister. Well, no, you have to. Never mind. Scratch that. I would have tried to avoid bringing second sister past R5, but bringing all the rest to R7 just because it'll make the event easier, especially that stupid fucking fulcrum tier. Um, and you're going to need it for the event. Uh, what I will say is that when you do have third sister, she is amazing in conquest. I use her constantly to cheese things. Um, she is amazing in territory battles for autoing things, which gives me a, a great ROI on my time. And as a turtle in Kyber, she really helps me to be able to take out like a JML, which isn't often seen on defense, but when I see like more turtle oriented defenses, it kind of helps me edge ahead a little bit. So I do like her. Um, and I only have one GAC Omicron on her. So again, JMK. You decide Java Inquisitors. It's really up to your guild, and and once you see this, you know we can we can talk um, talk more about that. What I like to do with my materials is I leverage things against other things. So, for example, when you start to get into your JMK uh, relicking portion, um, not no, sorry, let me scratch that. When you start to get into like your Jabba or your Inquisitor's portion where you're doing like more Chirotex and you're doing more core gear, if you're finding that you are um, more flush on signal data, uh, which happens to me a lot, right now I'm super flush on signal data, um, then you know start to take those side farms up to um, Relic 3, Relic 4, Relic 5, like try it, try it, do that right away, you already have the Omicron. Um, that's kind of how I leverage those things, right? When I notice that I'm focused more on relics, then I try to bring things up to G12 so they don't hurt as much later on when I need to relic them and all the Chirotech is already taken care of. Uh, like for Bo-Katan, I have everything at G11 and I'm just kind of waiting for uh, the shards 
So when I do finally pull the trigger, I'm not gonna feel like this disgusting amount going out. Um, so it's almost like a trifecta with JMK, Java, and um, Inquisitors. JMK first, Inquisitors, Java, it's kind of up to you. Why Java instead of Leia? I've said this a million times to people. They're both great GLs. Java's no longer in the zeitgeist in terms of the rates. Um, but by the time you're really starting to ticket farm and get Leia and get her ultimate, get where you need to be and have her modded, we're gonna start to see that shift into the next phase or the next raid. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're getting the ROI on Smuggler's Run 2 versus Ender Escalation 3. It's a much, much, much better event. It's gonna help you so much more for all aspects of, all right, let's see what else we've got here. Fennec, I think she's a, who is she? She is for, maybe she's for Java. Fennec, you're gonna start getting, um, yeah, let me just double check. You think I do these things every, almost every day, but it's so much information and, and sometimes who goes with what farm is, is that information overload. So Fennec, you're gonna need to get up with the uh, with the the Java grind anyway, All right? Let's just double check Java. Fennec, five star. Java. Yeah, okay, that's what I kind of thought, but now I made myself look like a fucking moron. Um, you're gonna get Fennec up with Jabba anyway, so if you're looking for like that Lord Vader counter, which I, I'm assuming is what you're looking for, um, that's gonna be the way to go. Um, after that, you know, I'm gonna say you're looking at like five, six months and and you want to kind of reassess. You're, you're a particularly late game player or mid to late game player, so that sometimes the zeitgeist things are the things that you're gonna to wanna to get. Uh, for example, like with Bane, which is something that you kind of wanna go for and is great, I think he's gonna kick ass. Um, so you don't wanna to plan too far in advance. You know, when the fleet meta shifts in July, August, you're probably gonna wanna be on top of that. And maybe not, maybe your fleet chart is so non-competitive that you know you have a couple of months. Mine, mine is, uh, mine is not competitive, so I kinda take my time with that. Um, let's just see, I'm assuming, I feel like everybody has this, yeah. The one thing I will say, and I mentioned this with Phoenix and Captain Rex, because we're probably gonna end up with Leia anyway at some point, I would do Captain Rex to Relics in the shorter term to try to get that Night Sisters um, and Phoenix CT1. Just because the sooner you do it, the sooner you're gonna start recovering the cost of the Chirotech, um, especially as a, as a required character. Night Sisters are the better play for it. They're kind of my MVP team right now. Um, and you can solve that just by getting Talia to, to G12, and that requires zero Cairo tech. But like I said, um, you're gonna be throwing shit at the wall. You're gonna be slamming your head against the wall. I hated doing it. Um, I don't recommend it to anyone, even though it's possible. And Marin is, um, she's a Cairo hog herself. She's my love. I got her at R9 very, very, very quickly. Uh, which is definitely not necessary at all. Um, but until you start to prioritize the Night Sisters team as a team that you're going to actually use, they're not necessarily worth the time to take up because the ROI is not um, necessarily there. So with that, that said, I think that that is the path that you need to take. And you know, if you have any questions about it, feel free, hit me back up on Discord. Um, and we can kind of go back and forth and, and fine tune the plan. Um, that's it. I need a catchphrase. 
what should my catchphrase be? If anyone has ideas for a catchphrase, let me know. <laughs>